Hey there peoples, how's it going? I'm Tim from Game Invaders and I'm about to check out As Divine Dios. So let's see what it's like. Uh, what difficulty? We'll try normal to start with. Of the many worlds brought into existence in the universe, there was but one created by a deity. That world being as divine. Abundant with every kind of plant life and creature, it was peaceful above all others. Alright, looks like it could be a bit of a Zelda style game. Here's hoping. What is going on? There's blobs. Earth that basks in the gentle rays of the sun, woods that slumber beneath the damp light of their canopy, and grasslands touched by the gentle flowing breeze. This looks like it's going to be good. As animals roam freely throughout the land, and humans continue to increase their knowledge in an effort to live more comfortably. Lives, these being created by the divine and watched over by spirits unbeknownst to them. Thought these carefree days would last forever. No, that's not likely. Folia Woods. Master. You're here. We were waiting for you. It appears everything's quiet in the woods today. Huh? Of course it is. The light spirits live here, remember? But also the perfect place for a midday nap. Anyway, if you're looking for the light spirit, she's up there in the... You're not supposed to say anything. What? She's up in the trees. It was supposed to be a secret, and she wanted to surprise you. Just pretend we didn't say anything, all right? I'll do that. The Light Spirit is waiting for you at the heart of the woods. Now have fun. All right. I suppose I shouldn't keep her waiting. Before that, maybe it's best I review the controls. I'm good. I can worry about it later if I need to. Story updated. Yeah, he runs pretty fast. There's a little uh, map up in the corner there. Looks like there's someone to fight. What's that what I'm looking for? Hmm? Could it be? Is that you, Iris? Yeah. That's a surprise to find you here like this. However, I can't understand the thing you're saying. How about I pull you out of there? Oh yes, I can finally breathe. Huh? My whole mouth is gritty with sound. Too. Iris? Yep. Great get to scared when I jumped out of that tree, but my plan really screwed up. Um, what do you need? Admittedly, I was surprised to find you with your heart stuck in the ground. Then again, you always do a good job of entertaining me. I do. However, I think you went a little overboard this time. You're all covered in sand. Tee, oops. If his were I gonna kick out of it, I must have succeeded after all. Iris, I'll brush you off. Stand still. Okay. That's much better. Thanks. All right, gotta give you this. It's the mark the sprites gathered around Folia Woods. Yes, go ahead. I've seen it to you. 
I've sent it to you, Dastriel. Once it's submit, supplemented, it'll be returned to the void. However, the murk in this area seems to have increased compared to the last time I was here. That's because I'm... That's because in a hundred years, Taz and Village have popped up all over the place, and the human population has exploded. Fear, hate, jealousy, the murk come from all these human negative feelings. If it entertains plants or animals, they become monsters and can't be changed back. The murk creates nothing, an unnecessary existence. Yet, why is it humans continue to create it? If only they could see it. Nothing I can do about it. As only you know. Even so, there are still tons of good people in Astrofile. You always did like humans, didn't you? Yep, I think if you got to know them, you would like them too. At least as much as I do anyway. Not likely. Huh? Is all the old? What's this strange feeling I'm getting? So, so this is Yasriel, the divine tree from whence the world sprang. Lies. What is? What is deity? Who is there? Show yourself. Megasword. A sword. With this, with the power of this sword, I, I will destroy everything connected to the divine. What is going on? Here he comes. Let man. shaking. What's causing this? Did it stop? Or was it the trembler had all the murk? I see you noticed too. The woods are now full of it. Unfortunately, I can't return to my psyche form, so I can't use my magic to stop it. Why is this happening? Could it be something happening to your spirit tree to get us resin? It's unlikely. Yes, Rizzi, he's done other than as divine itself, the very world we live in. There's no one else besides myself who's able to hurt the planet. Rather, the likelihood something happened to one of the spirit trees connected to me is much higher. Your tree was this way, right? Let's go have a look at it. Right. But wait. These items were left by some traveler earlier. So we got some hill gummy and some magic gummy. What are these for? They're recovery items for when you get hurt. If we were attacked by monsters in our current state, we could get messed up pretty badly. That reminds me, we're gonna need some equipment to fight these monsters, too. You're good with those one handed swords, right? Oh yeah, sword! I'll make sure to bring this world map along, too. With it, we ought to be able to figure out where we are in as divine anytime we need to. It's definitely a must for traveling. Hmm. Anyway, let's be sure to grab whatever we need. A wise idea. But just to check if you don't equip your weapon or armor, having them is pretty pointless. To do it, go into the menu and select equip. I should remind you, I'm the one who taught you. Now, let's go. Right. I was joined the party. So how do we equip? So 
so I'm really impressed with this game so far. Um, it looks like it's like a proper kind of Zelda-y, old school um, RPG. I'm not sure how to equip stuff. Here we go. Ah, he wants a sword. There we go, we've equipped the sword. That's what we wanted. Time to battle the monsters. I can send something up ahead. Let's out. Let's find out what it is. It's a blob. Look, it's a mummy. Moo. How adorable. Moo. Get away from it. Huh? It's time to fly. Hurrah! Oh no! It must have changed it into a monster due to the effects of the bird. Iris! Burr! You weren't hurt, were you? No, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. First things first, and that's dealing with this monster. Once a player or animal turns into one, they'll only suffer until they're put out of their misery. We're helping them by killing them. Right! Now, let's do this. Battle time. Monsters will attack when exploring the overworld and dungeons. The guide below shows to help you understand the battle screen. One character status, enemy you are, the frag, blah, blah, blah. Continuing the touch screen causes the plan to help the spirit. It fills the entire battle screen. <coughs> so, we're going to use our sword. On this dude. Take that. Take that. Take that, white face. Yeah, victory for me! So we've won, and hopefully we level up a little. Rank 3, beautiful. We got some hill jelly. I'll send this merc to Gut Razel. If only we... If only we could change them back to their original form, we wouldn't have to fight at all. Unfortunately, there's no way to reverse it. All worlds like as defined are the same in that respect. In an order for a monster to flee from the pain caused by the murder, it attacks those who haven't been tainted by it. That's why the only way to release them from their pain is to release them from their physical prisons. I know, but... It appears the monsters in the area took notice of us after that last fight, meaning we'll look like we see plenty more as we proceed. Sounds like we better be ready for them whenever they decide to attack. Now how about we get going as old old? Agreed. Yeehaw! Let's run. So yeah, uh, I'm really, really digging this game. I think it's an awesome role-playing game for free. And, uh, yeah, what do you think? What are those boxes for? Teehee, I see you notice. Time for some treasure. Recently, I've been finding items dropped by travelers and sticking them in these boxes. Treasure chests seem to be the fat at the moment. The best thing about them is the one who finds them gets to keep their contents. Finders keepers lose sweepers. You always knew how to come up with interesting games, didn't you? Tee you know me. Normally spirits like us don't need stuff, good, but given the situation, it might come in handy. Now to see if you can find them all. Oh. I'll put it in my list of things to do. Now try opening these ones here. You can do it by standing in front of them and tapping them. I'll, I'll give it a try. 
Fizzle chest can be opened by facing them and pressing the confirm button. Bust a ticket! What's these scraps of paper? About those, they're tickets that can be used to play Barrel Busters in the online shop. Barrel Busters? For every one of those tickets you trade in, you can get a weapon as a present. It's kind of like the lottery. I get a weapon just for one of these? Yep, that's basically how it works. The best part is the anticipation of what you get in return. Since it's free to play, it's worth it using those tickets whenever you get one. You can also check the help section. No problems, I'll remember that. Bust a ticket, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I guess you can see if you think this game is for you. I'm really digging it. Um, I'm going to continue and make some more videos of me playing this game further. But I'll tell you what I think right now. I think this is really, really awesome. I think it's worth five out of five. Um, it's free. So if you like the look of it, grab it. It's, yeah, I'm really impressed. Uh, I haven't really noticed any flaw so far. Graphics are beautiful. Um, nice sound. Yeah. I, and even the fighting, the fighting system is good. A lot of role-playing games on Android, they seem to just fight for you, whereas this one looks like you're going to have to control the outcome of the fights. So anyway, yeah, I really dig this game. I'll be back playing some more later, so stay tuned for new videos, and uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.